morning everyone. Let me get my glasses here. This video is being done on Monday, August the 26th, 2019. Recently upgraded to two phones for all the messages I've been taking. Nothing fancy, they're old. An S5 and an S6. Did a little wheeling and dealing with Verizon and they kind of hooked me up. So now when one battery dies from answering all the messages all day, I just plug that one in and grab the other phone. While that one's charging, I'm working on that one. So there's no delay in waiting for a phone to, to charge up. I love owning the warehouse, the big space, to hold all the sewing machines. But one thing I don't like about the warehouse is the three consumer bills I get every month. And I'm gonna have to do a change because I'm just I play catch up all year. I get this shut off notice every single month because I just keep, keep playing catch up, and and I'm just kind of looking things over. And there might be a I might be paying a way too much on a minimum for gas. And I'm thinking about switching to all electric once I talk to them. We'll see what we can hook up. But this is pretty common, and luckily they're not very big. I mean, two hundred and one dollars for that one. And this is a shut-off notice for. Come on, be little. Two hundred and forty-six dollars. That's insane. I just don't understand why they, they get away with charging so much for commercial use when I barely use any electricity. I mean, I'm almost switched everything to LEDs. Well, I'll deal with that. Hopefully I can make that in the next couple of days. With all the inventory I have, I figured I probably have 300,000 parts in inventory. And that's no exaggeration. And today, Harley, relax. We're going to finish up special box number one full of slant shank sewing machine parts. Harley, relax. Harley. Move the coffee. All right, enough. What do we have here? Slant chink, buttonhole foot. There's the number on the back. We could do a special on those since there are so many of them came. There has to be 30 of them here. That's good, I was getting kind of low on those. Alright, what do we have next? Oh, this is nice. Slant shank, adjustable. It adjusts because you can slide it. This one's a real stiff like it hasn't hardly ever been used. But it does slide, see? It slides. Adjustable zipper cording and some use it for piping foot. They also come in wide. This is a narrow one. Very nice. Very nice. Good. I was really low on stock on those. Harley, relax. Harley. Look 
looks like a slant shank motor. It is a, a PA9-8. I think these would be in your 401s. It'll probably work. I'll test it. I've seen these for sure in the 401s. I remember that number. Okay, what other kind of feet we have here? Sweet. All right. Slant shank, the zigzag or all-purpose foot. It's also known as. You got the uh, the number. Sometimes they're on the back here, like this one is. Let's see if there's any. I've noticed these are sometimes numbered in different spots. Most of these look like they're right on the back. Sweet, very nice. Bunch of those. Uh, we got some cords here. Just the cords, not the pedals, just the cords. If anybody needs these, there's one, two, three, four, five. We can make these our special of the day. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these. Wait, they're still coming. Twelve. Come on, I don't need all these. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Let's make this a special of the day. Well, this one actually has a pedal. 21 with no pedals. We'll make these. Anybody needs a replacement cord or just want some vintage wiring, we'll make these two bucks with any orders. What did I say how many of them are? A whole bunch of them. I don't need them. We'll set them down there. Here's one complete with the foot pedal. Let's take a look at it. Harley. Enough. Enough. Okay. All right. Looks like I have plenty of bake light. Singer sewing machine repair kit feet. Look at that. What a beautiful sight that is. Now it would be really nice. Look, little pieces of wires. Isn't that crazy? Those were kept too. But it would be really nice if one of these bags actually has the screws for them too. Look at them. Oop, don't lose them. Nice. Whole bag of them. I repair quite a few. I rebuild the uh, 301 and 221 foot pedals. So cool. Yeah, I was down to about 20 or 30 feet there. Added about another 50 now. Singer bags. Two. Singer bag, I guess that's what they were for, to hold the foot pedal. Here's another one of these. that down. All right. We're going to come to a conclusion finally.
super rare slant model bubble wrap. This is good stuff. It only it only wraps up the, the slants. Alright, goodbye box. There was so much bubble wrap, there's a whole box full of it down there. Alright, let's see what's left here. This is the bottom of the box. All right, we have, ooh, I can use that. Why? There we go. Tiny, tiny bobbin case screwdrivers. Look at that one. I like that one. It's actually a little singer bob in case that's actually has singer on it. it says singer on it i don't see that one very often anybody read that it says singer right on it so just your bob in case i wouldn't recommend using it for anything else you try to undo a tight screw with that guess who's gonna win it's not meant to loosen screws just for adjusting and we have a number seven top hat cam Number seven top hat cam. Let's see what else. Um, just some pieces of wire. That's all that's in here. A couple pieces of wire. Um, in the remaining bags, we have some thumb screws for your attachments. We got, uh, let's take this out of here. Put it with the collection. Ooh, looks brand new. Add it to my oil collection. Nice. We'll put that right here where the oils are at. And then, some more of those feet. What's in here? Looks like your, uh, looks like seam guides. Or cloth guides. There's, uh, let's take them out of the side. I can't see them. There's three of them here. They're the big fat ones. Alright, last bag. Oh, we did this one, we did this one. We have this part for those foot pedals. And the last bag are your 400 series, 500, not 500, 600 series needle plates. That one's kind of messed up. I always like to inspect the holes before I sell them. This one's first sell. When it gets down to the nitty gritty, sometimes I double them up. Like that's a good one, that's a good one. That one's kind of got some needle marks. And a good way to test them is to take a loose needle and see how deep those holes are. Sometimes they, they look worse than they are. But overall, they look good. A lot of them. If anybody needs your slant mile zigzag plate, Thanks for watching. Well, I want to show you something before I end this video. Okay, where's the marker? I exaggerated that just a little bit. It's a 30 pound box. Where's the marker? We gotta mark it. Found it. We'll call this. Get us in focus here. A lot of videos to come yet. There's a lot of members have their orders on hold until this box is opened up special box number two we'll put a smiley face hope it's real good alright
Videos coming on that very soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you subscribe and like the videos. If you'd like to make an order, contact me on Facebook. Send me a personal message. That's the best way to make your orders. Those that are waiting for this box open, I'm going to get these videos done as soon as possible so we can finish our orders and I can get those bills paid. Thank you for watching.